Well, a Garden District mansion known as Ghost Manor will be featured Sunday night in an ABC special here on WGNO. WGNO's Kenny Lopez shows you why Ghost Manor is so sneakily spooky. For the last 11 Halloweens, after the ghosts and skeletons finish their spooking on the streets, they come to Ghost Manor, a spooky speakeasy where the frights are just right. Families wanting to be spooked by ghosts, singing and dancing skeletons, spiders and jack-o'-lanterns flock to Ghost Manor on the corner of Magazine and Second Streets. Welcome to Ghost Manor. David Gentry owns Ghost Manor and is the mastermind behind all the incredible animatronics. I've coated it and did like all kind of subtle veining. His spooktacular show with characters all handmade will be featured on the ABC show, The Great Halloween Fright Fight. Would you like to step inside to see the latest and greatest technical achievement to date? All right, here we go. So what makes this so special is that there is arm movement that has five motors in each arm. So the shoulders themselves have, have three axes. So they can go up this way, they can go out this way, and they can also turn this way. Also the elbows, and finally wrists. So all of these combined, 10 motors uh, across both arms can make them really expressive. Uh, these bones here are sculpted. I sculpted them digitally and then 3D printed them. So this is a performance capture device which basically acts like a puppeteer. It controls the character's movement as you can see right here. And what it does is it records the movement and then it puts it in a show. I caught a fish this big. It's like he's riding a roller coaster. <laughs> Flex. And it's good. Goodbye, Kenny. Thanks for stopping by. All of us at Ghost Manor wish you a very happy Halloween. Kenny Lopez, WGNO News. Well, if the judges choose Ghost Manor as the best haunted house on the show, the owner gets $50,000. You can watch the great Halloween Fright Fight here on WGNO at 9 p.m. Sunday. Still ahead.